If you not see the smile when they my face, you not go see say na excitement and happiness. Now you fool my belly. Sake of say, today will be October second. Now the first Monday for the great month of October. And I go start by saying happy, happy, happy. First, happy new month. Happy New Week and Happy Independence Celebration to everybody when they're inside Obodo, Nigeria. And everybody when we say, irrespective of where you're there now, the green blood, they flow through your veins. Those words have been the history of our great country, Nigeria, are going to say, on the 1st of October, 1960, the British people, that is the British people, when we say, they sit down as our blood and master at that time. They come and contact, say, oh, your time don't reach for now to gain independence. Based on say, we don't give them some kind of plenty problem to tell them, say, we they ready to stand with our two legs for ground as an independent country. Since that time, go reach now. Some people, they look and say, eh, we don't try to build our country. And we don't reach one level when we say, we need to do more for ourselves. But on top of as they all today, as we celebrate our great country, Nigeria, we don't call them. Happy independent celebration based on great nation, great people. That one, I mean, say, uh, any talk we're going to talk here today, we don't want to talk anything bad about Nigeria. I know some people don't already their phone line, they wait since 10 o'clock. So that once they're connected, they'll just begin to complain, say, light, no day, road, no good, security this, security that. But I want to ask you, this is not the time for you to roll up your sleeve and contribute your own quota to nation building and national development. My name now is Ugo Chokwode. Based on say Unkubi, a very important person, we don't send them go important message as it concerns this our great country, Nigeria. So that me alone, the inside studio, we go look ourselves for our eye and talk good things about our great country, Nigeria. Uh, make I just break this thing down again. Make I talk out with cool voice. Maybe we don't come to the complain, say, uh, the way we not take start, the company like saying, I fight, I carry come. Uh, if you want to celebrate your birthday, that is the day when we say, Mama bring you, come inside this world. Now, time when the day is special to all of us, we go sit down and ask ourselves, say, we don't reach this level, uh, see where we did, see where we won't reach. But no matter how the thing take be us for body, we don't feel knock our head for one. We go thank God, say we get life, and we go do everything we want to do to make our life better. For inside this country, those who have the history of Nigeria know, say, we don't experience some kind of serious things inside this country. But as a united people, or as a great people, we don't overcome this particular thing. So today on top of us in the heart, we they talk about how great people, because you were there as they watch me, so you'll be a great person. How you as a great person go contribute to the building of this our great country, Nigeria. So remember today, no be complain. I go draw my left ear. No be complain. No be complain. I go talk about the third time. No be complain. We know what many people call us come and say, 57, we still be picking. 57, we still they take breast milk. 57, they still they rock us to sleep. As a great person, when they inside this country, what do you go contribute to the development of this our great country, Nigeria? So we go throw our phone lines open, sharp, sharp, and enter inside that conversation. But before we throw the phone lines open, we get to one tradition. On the 1st of October, our president, uh, he they give broadcast, that is, he go sit down, give message to Nigerians. We don't package one small message when we say, President Mohamed Wali, give Nigerians. When we hear this message, we go through our phone lines open, begin to discuss this particular one to see how the matter will take day. No go anywhere. You see, they watch the Ogbon Get Television discussion show. As Ide Hearts, will they come back? For all Nigerians, as this marks the day when we attain one of the most precious of human desires freedom. Over the years, the country has gone through trials and tribulations, but October 1st is always a day for celebrations. It is a day for thanksgiving, reflection, and rededication. It is also a day for remembrance. We should remind ourselves of the recent journey from 1999 to 2015, when our country happily returned to democratic rule. However, in spite of oil prices being an average of 100 United States dollars per barrel and about 2.1 million barrels a day, that great piece of luck was squandered and the country's social and physical infrastructure neglected. We are left with no savings and huge infrastructure deficit. The APC government's campaign, rally and cry to restore security, rebalance the economy, and fight corruption was not all rhetoric. The country must first be secured. The economy must be rebalanced 
so that we do not depend on oil alone. We must fight corruption, which is Nigeria's number one enemy. Our administration is tackling these tasks in earnest. In the past two years, Nigeria has recorded appreciable gains in political freedom. A political party at the center, losing elections of state governor, national assembly seat, and even state assemblies to the opposition parties is new to Nigeria. Added to this are complete freedom to associate, to hold, and disseminate opinions. Such developments clearly attest to the country's growing political development. But like all freedoms, this is open to abuse. Recent calls on restructure quite proper in a legitimate debate has let in highly irresponsible groups to call for the remembermament of the country. We cannot and we will not allow such advocacy. As a young officer, I took part from the beginning to the end in a tragic civil war, causing about two million lives, resulting in fearful destruction and untold suffering. Those who are agitating for a rerun were not born by 1967 and have no idea of the horrendous consequences of the civil conflict which we went through. I am very disappointed that the responsible leaders of these communities do not warn their hot-headed youth what the country went through. Those who were there should tell those who were not there the consequences of such folly. At all events, proper dialogue and any desired constitutional changes should take place in a rational manner at the national and state assemblies. These are the proper and legal fora for national debate, not some lopsided, undemocratic body with predetermined set of objectives. Government is keeping up the momentum of dialogue with stakeholders in the Niger Delta to keep the peace. We intend to address genuine grievances of the communities. Government is grateful to the responsible leadership of those communities and will pursue lasting peace in the Niger Delta. On security, Nigerians must be grateful to our gallant armed forces for rolling back the frontiers of Boko Haram's terrorism, defeating them and reducing them to cowardly attacks on soft and vulnerable targets. Nigeria is grateful to its neighbors and the international community for the collective efforts to defeat this worldwide menace of terrorism. Not even the most organized and most equipped police and security forces in the world can escape the menace of modern day terrorism as we have seen in recent years in Europe and other parts of the world. But we are not letting up. Our armed forces, in an effort to enhance the operational capability of troops of Operation Lafia Dole, have established mobile strike teams in the northeast. These will ensure the final push to wipe out the remnants of Boko Haram. In addition, through targeted air strikes, most of the leadership and identified logistic bases and routes of the insurgents have been neutralized. The armed forces have established a naval presence in the Lake Chad Basin as part of the coordinated military efforts to curtail the movements or re-emergence of the sect in the area.
government is working around the clock to ensure release of the remaining Chibok girls, as well as other persons in Boko Haram captivity. Government will continue to support the armed forces and the other security agencies to fight not only terrorism, but kidnapping, armed robberies, hard men farmers' violence, and to ensure peace, stability, and security in our country. With respect to the economy, the government has remained proactive in its diversification policy. The Federal Government Agricultural and Borrowers Program, which I launched in November 2015, has been an outstanding success, with 43.92 billion Naira released through the Central Bank of Nigeria and 13 participating institutions. 200,000 smallholder farmers from 29 states of the Federation benefiting. 233,000 hectares of farmland cultivating eight commodities, namely rice, wheat, maize, cotton, soya beans, poultry, cassava, and groundnuts, in addition to fish farming. These initiatives have been undertaken in close collaboration with the states. I wish to commend the efforts of the governors of Kebbi, Lagos, Ibonyi, and Jigawa states for their support to the rice and fertilizer revolutions. Equally commendable are contributions of the governors of Ondo, Edo, Delta, Imo, Cross River, Benue, Ogun, Kaduna, and Vileto states for their support for the Fraudential Initiative for farm oil, rubber, cashew, cassava, potatoes, and other crops. With the abundance of rainfall last year and this year, agriculture has enjoyed divine intervention. Since December last year, this administration has produced over 7 million 50 kilogram bags of fertilizer, 11 blending plants with a capacity of 2.1 million metric tons have been reactivated. We have saved 150 million United States dollars in foreign exchange and 60 billion Naira in subsidy. Fertilizer prices have dropped from 13,000 Naira for a 50 kilogram bag to 5,500 Naira. Furthermore, a new presidential initiative is starting with each state of the Federation creating a minimum of 10,000 jobs for unemployed youth, again with the aid of central banks development finance initiatives. Power remains a huge problem. As of September 12th, production of power reached an all-time high of 7,001 megawatts. Government is increasing its investment, clearing up the operational and financial luxury, redoubling the industry. We hope to reach 10,000 megawatts by the year 2020. Key priorities including better energy mix through solar and hydro technologies. I am glad to say that after many years of limbo, Mambila Power Project has taken off. Elsewhere in the economy, the sufficient window created for manufacturers, investors, and exporters foreign exchange requirements has proved very effective. Since April, about 7 billion United States dollars has come through this window alone. The main effect of these policies is improved confidence in the economy 
and better investment sentiments. The country has recorded seven consecutive months of lower inflation. Naira rate is beginning to stabilize, appreciating from 525 Naira by one United States dollar in February this year to 360 Naira today. Broad-based economic growth is leading us out of recession. Furthermore, in order to stabilize the quality, the federal government gave additional support to states in the form of state excess crude account loans, budget support facility, stabilization fund release to state and local government as fellows. 200 billion Naira in 2015, 441 billion Naira in 2016, 1 trillion Naira in 2017. Altogether, 1.642 trillion Naira. This was done to enable states to pay outstanding salaries, pensions, and small business suppliers who had been all but crippled over the years. In addition, the government's current 500 billion Naira official intervention program is targeting groups through homegrown school feeding program and power job creation to provide loans to small scale traders and artisans, conditional cash transfer, family homes fund, and social housing scheme. Fellow Nigerians, we are fully aware that fighting corruption was never going to be a straightforward task. We expected corrupt elements to use any weapon to fight back, mainly judicial obstruction and political diversion. But we are determined to eradicate corruption from our body politic. In this fight, the government has empowered teams of prosecutors, assembled detailed databases, accelerated the recovery of stolen funds. The administration's new institutional reforms include enforcing treasury single account, whistleblowers policy, integrated payroll, personnel and information system. We have signed multilateral cooperation agreements on criminal matters with friendly countries. There are signs of increasing cooperation from the judiciary. Recently, the Chief Justice of the Federation directed heads of all our courts of first instance and I feel to accelerate hearings of corruption cases and dismiss any judicial officers found to have been compromised. Justice Salami has just been appointed to chair the Judiciary's anti graft Committee. Government expects a lot from this committee. I commend the National Assembly for refocusing on its oversight committees. They should, in addition, ensure a swift passage of enabling corruption laws. But fighting corruption is a bottom-to-top operation. I call on all Nigerians to combat corruption at every time by not asking for and refusing to accept a bribe, by reporting unethical practices or by blowing a whistle. Together, we can... When I don't hear the voice of President Muhammadu Buhari, that's not the nationwide broadcast when he tell Nigerians them yesterday, or when he served Nigerians them yesterday. He highlights important things when we say in government, don't do to improve the condition of the Nigerian people. Uh, but if we do plus or minus of everything, it go good make we just focus on the fact, say, this country belongs to all of us, and now we go contribute our own quota, that is, the small thing we do to develop and build our country. Remember, say, 
If you travel, come up for Nigeria. Nobody they ask you where you come from. Oh, he is a Nigerian. Oh, she is a Nigerian. Now the eye where they go use look you first. The way when we say people they take they see us. Now the way we they present ourselves to them. If we present ourselves as yeah people, they go think us to be yeah people. But if we do well and show people say Nigerians they do well for different parts when they find themselves. So also we be great people when we go do well for our country. They go begin the cut cap. They respect us. And we go go break now. But before we go break, I go draw my left ear again. Tell everybody. Say, even though Nigeria are 57 years, we all understand. Say, we need to do more for this our country. No time to complain. Call, call the talk, say, hey, lights, no day. This country get a CP. I beg, I won't take a beg now. For every time this year, just this October 1st special, based on say today and October 2nd, make we celebrate this our country. I talk of the thing when we say, you, when they house now, they watch me. Feed do to contribute to the development of this country. More go break. We don't throw our phone lights open. Call and talk your mind. As Ide Hot, still in the spirit of the independence celebration. Welcome back to Ask Ide Hot. Today, in a special one based on say, we they celebrate 57 years when our great country, Nigeria, uh, don't gain independence. Remember when I talk, I go draw my left ear, talk again. I said today, no be there when we go to complain. I won't take God beg una. If every day on top of our serious, we sit down here, and I don't say, now maybe the president of those where they always they complain because I they speak for Nigerian people. But I don't reason I'm say, you as a Nigerian, you be a great person. The reason why God put you for this country, I go go spiritual now. The reason why God put you for this country, now because you get something to offer that land of milk and honey. Roll your sleeve. What did you go do? How you they contribute um, to make Nigeria a great country? Our phone lines don't they open. Call and talk your mind. As it take concern, this one will not drop. So uh, remember waiting our president, President Mohamed Wari talk. He get one thing when he talk when I should say plenty of people go hold. He talk about the fact say uh, division. That is, I no go agree. I won't fight. I won't scatter. I won't go. No be the solution to problem. Whether we like him or not, even people when we say the same Papa and Mama born them, he go get level when they go reach. They go tell yourself say I don't tire for you. But if you talk, say you don't tire, you won't come, come out. Nobody say you don't get right to talk, say you won't come out. Oh. But the best way to settle down and live as one are people when they inside family. Now, the best way when we say, it go keep una in a position when we say people from outside, no go comfy, divide una. Make we look country where we say people from this part, don't marry people from that part inside the same country. And then they live together. We know say issue must come. The way we will take sit down, take discuss them, then go move Nigeria forward. As person when serving the history of Nigeria, I read say between 1967 and 1970, we fight one kind of fight. When we say, if to say we do well, we for avoid that particular fight. He get plenty of people when lose their lives. Our president and our soldier, when we say, he participate inside. Even my papa follow for those when we say talk, say, okay, oh, and we won't fight this particular fight. But now people can't look up, can't see, say, there is no uh, alternative to peace. Fight will result in destruction. Fight will result in the death of plenty of people. Why not sit down and discuss this particular issue? And if we check the problems in Nigeria, they face poverty, hunger, suffering. The good things will make our balance supposed sweet. We don't get them. Now, all of us, this thing, they affect. It not be like, say, now only people will come from uh, this place. Now, they enjoy them or that particular place. It just be like, say, some good people. When they're this country, when supposed to do well, they don't see chance do them. And now the bad people, they enter inside government, they do them. Who they give these bad people chance? Now we will sit down, fold our arms, talk, say, this country, don't tire us. And we're not going to see what we want to do. Anything when they like, may they do. God will provide. God don't give us the sense to do everything we do to use move this our country forward. So as you call our telephone line, I go like make you talk your mind as they concern this country. And most especially, I won't set Una up. That is, I won't put Una for inside the front. Make you come and tell us what you they do to use develop this our country. Chen I say when election time reach now, or as you do like this now, you don't begin to check those when we say they don't come out or, or you they look say this person, if you they inside government, he go do well. You don't begin to follow them now, bumper to bumper. They check their record to see what thing you go do. Or you go just come and come talk, say, eh, anything when it's be inside Nigeria, and that's what it go be. Remember what the president Mohamed Buhari talk about corruption. In come and talk, say, corruption are the greatest enemy when we get. Make a break and I make everybody understand. The fact say, as we go come out, they complain, say, our university be like dumping ground, and they know they collect their money, now corruption. The fact say, big man, he go get a headache, he go travel, go UK. Even our president, I go call his name, travel, go UK. And people, when, poor people, when they inside Nigeria, see it's hard for them. Now corruption. Because if they fix our hospitals, if it makes sense, he get one news when they go on top of social media yesterday. He get one American when come out, when talk say, 
as far as healthcare they concerned, especially with that Yamayama disease where they call cancer, when they affect plenty of people. Say dog for America, they get VIP treatments past Nigerian women. It breaks down the number of machines when we get for this country, when they use the treat people when get cancer. Come compare them to the United States of America. You know, say for inside America, dog when get cancer, if they receive VIP treatment. Look, we we'll ask ourselves, why our hospitals know they work? Why medicine know they for hospital? Chen say we don't get doctors when get sense. We get doctors when we say they don't travel out for this country and then they do well. Make I give one example. He get one doctor when we say the former president of the United States of America, Barack Obama, he stand with his two legs for granted, put in two hands by his side, salute the doctor. Why? Because the doctor do one procedure. Procedure on some kind maybe health action or some kind of operation where nobody don't ever do before. What did this doctor do? Woman when get belly, then see say that picking get something. He come out that picking, treat the picking, put the picking back, and the woman born the picking. Now, if, when they tell Obama, he been the chop breakfast that time, as they tell him, he say, yeah, who do this kind of thing? They come tell him, say, now, nah, doctor. When we can't trace the history of this doctor, that doctor, now, nah, Nigerian. That one means, say, Nigerians get sense. God don't bless us with plenty sense. I go even enter inside the United Kingdom. He get the family, when they call the Mafidon family. This family, they talk, say, for the whole of the United Kingdom, I don't say Britain, no, United Kingdom. Now, this family gets sense fast because they feel close eye, right exam, and I then go carry highest and then be Nigerians. Maybe we ask ourselves why if we say, we know people put things in place so that these people, when get sense, they go come and they go do things to move this our country forward. Uh, and they hear information, say, our network, be like, say, the thing they shake, based on, say, as we did like this for inside Lagos now, rain they fall, showers of blessing. But if you try call us and make you talk your mind, I won't set to now up today. Nobody to complain every time. The question I say, what do you ask Nigeria they do to use develop this our country? Not be just for the complaint. Make we enter inside Lagos, somebody don't connect. Good morning and welcome to Ask in the Heart. Good morning and welcome to Ask in the Heart. Hello. We they hear you. Have you reduced the volume of your television? From Lagos. Wisdom, are they hear you? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, what uh, according to our president, waiting in the talk, this country, we are dying. This country we are dying. This is not this is not this is not the right thing. Why? Why then they fear to 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 divide this country? Oga because wisdom. They can't rule Nigeria again. The Nigeria is bigger than them. Oga wisdom. Let them. I'm listening. Okay, you. All of us admit say we get problem. Yes. But dividing the country go result in further problem. I want to ask you now, okay. especially when they wise. Best don't say your name now. Wisdom. What yes. do you go feel do to use contribute to the development of this country? What 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 can I go do to 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 contribute for the country mm. for the development? Mm. Let them, them, them. You have to. The search charity begins at home. Start from them. Mm. Even if you're a poor man, whatever, whatever we do, if they not contribute, if you not start from them, the country not go move forward. Let them, let them respect God. Have pity of all, all these poor people suffering. You understand? Mm. If they don't respect God, this country will not move forward. Let mm. them have feelings. Let people they're hungry. Let them have to leave all this, all this hospital where they, they go abroad, go to take treatment. They, they, because we were poor, we, we were poor. We know if you go abroad, go take that treatment. Mm. As they are now, any headache, they will go abroad. They don't know how we they feel for here. Mm. Some, some people go work, finish, no money, to even eat, to succeed Very for true. this country. Very the true. charity begins at home. Let them start from mm. them. Okay, Let wisdom, them you don't talk, I'm saying, maybe we start from them because uh, now them, they lead us. But remember, say, even those when they lead us, they don't come from Ghana. They don't come from Madagascar. And anybody, when they qualify inside this country, so long as the person gets passion to serve, if you come and tell Nigeria and say, you want to represent or you want to serve, they go put you there. Remember, say, now you get power because now you they put them. If you withdraw your power from them or your support from them, they don't go feel good there because they don't feel good there by themselves. So as we don't talk about our leaders, so but we also translate them into our life. You, when you call us too, you they fear God. In the little things where you they do too, you they sure say you they fear God. Don't be sad, they ask you whether you they fear God though. I just they talk of we when they look at now, say, hey, after all, we know the government, and then the government, when they do what they want to do. Make I give this example. Our brothers and sisters, when they internally displace people's camps based on the badness of Boko Haram, government come and talk, say, they won't give money to use the take care of this, our brothers and sisters. You know, say, some of those food items, when they give our brothers and sisters, some people, they carry and go market, go say. Those people, when they carry and go market, go say. They don't be government, oh. Now, ordinary people, like me and you, still taking this call from Lagos. Good morning, and welcome to Us in the Heart. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Will they hear you? My brother, you see, uh, the problem of this country, uh, Although say I happy say we sit there together at this time. Hmm. She understand. Uh, but 
if you see when Jonathan won't come out, everybody agrees that this don't spoil well. well. Mm. You understand? Mm. But as you come join us together, come vote Buhari, you know, say, as he did say a soldier man before, we believe say he get experience to handle matter we get iron head. Mm. So with that spirit, now we all jo join hands, vote and say, make he enter there. At least may use that in soldier mentality. May deal with all these people where they cause problems for this country. Mm -hmm. But if you can't look at the thing can't be now, eh, my brother, we will not can't understand. Hmm. You understand? You go, the people with the better money, they hmm. go join APC, they go leave them. So as the people where we say they tabaru the whole thing, they go still go join body with them again. As you can't say better, hmm. you understand? Hmm. Then if you can't say me, me I talk as I go take contribute where the thing go take better, my brother, if they had before follower, go take make contribution to leader way, leader go take do and where. Mm -hmm. Now leader, Based on the criteria where we say a letter say, Oga, we will not get the power to control ourselves. I bet lead us, mm. save us, help us. You understand? Mm. My brother, I bet this matter, we don't talk as it's 1960. May God, may God just help us. You understand? Oga Williams, I appreciate this, your important contribution. Just like waiting our first call at talk, you don't come at contact, say, eh, those when they lead, now then they front. You know what would they talk, say, Eshin Waju? Niye in was are they make a translate them? The horse when they for front, the leg when they carry, 91 when they back, they follow. We the people, they follow our leaders them. If they lead us well, we go behave well. If they don't lead us well, we go behave anyhow. And you come out, come talk and say, when Nigerians come out overwhelmingly, if we check the way when the election results take day for 2015, say they won't vote for them Mamadou Buhari now because of the confidence when we get say he go do everything when he go do to make our country go forward. But we could also talk and here say. The work of Presido, no be one man work. The work of government, no be one man work. All of us, the people, uh, we plenty pass those when they government. No, tell ourselves the truth. We can only have one president. We can only have 36 governors. We can only have 774 local government chairman. If we join everybody when they government, the people when they Nigeria are plenty pass them. So we must support them to move this our country forward. We get another call on top of our telephone line. Good morning, Sule. Welcome to Asi the Hot. Uh, good morning. I greet you, Oga Sule. Yeah, long time. I've, I've, I've listened to your program every day. Yeah, uh, you are the... Uh, yes. <laughs> we appreciate that you don't call. Make your I contribution. That, yes, my producer said that, that guy when he called and said Nigeria support the divide. He doesn't know the meaning of divide. We go at the uh, southern Sudan. When they divide now, how they, how they put their body be now from today? Mm. So, so we, we have to pray for Nigeria to be a one. Mm. So, Ogasule, make I ask you, eh, as yeah. Nigeria they like this now, we know, say, to divide, no follow. Okay, you don't go, but I hope, say, you go still take no, this one. Okay, they, yes. We know, say, for Nigeria to divide, it not be good thing at all, it not follow. What yeah. will be the things we will go do? So that that problem, when people, they look, say, this problem, now go make us divide. We go solve that problem, and we go there united. Yeah, we'll pray today united, and they will pray for this guy, this, this government, uh, this president, this government, to try all this. It's true. If you look at the whole Africa, Nigeria, we have, our people are very corrupt. And then we get somebody like uh, John Rowley for Ghana. Mm. Uh, Buhari, like John Rowley for Ghana. All these people, if the people have followed Buhari, I mean, many people will go to jail. Mm. And the people, the lawyers and judges, they want them to go to jail. Mm. Oga okay, Sule, we appreciate this, your important contribution. We're going to inside Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory. Collect this call from Oga Jude. Good morning and welcome to Asi the Hot. You don't connect us. Reduce the volume of your television so that the full Nigeria will hear your, co your contribution. Reduce the volume of <laughs> Oh, yeah, talk now, Oga Jude. Oga Jude, I beg if you get a chance, call us back, make you make your contribution as it they consign our discussion for today. Remember, say I draw my ear, they talk, say, now nah, good. Now nah, we want for this our country. How you go take contribute? Enter inside Benway, collect this call. Good morning, and welcome to Asi the Hot. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I, uh, so, my own, uh, I go talk small before I go contribute. Okay. Uh -huh. At the end, with me, I go talk small. The only thing I want to talk is now our leader, now dead. Three problems we will get for this country. Mm. We don't get two problems. We don't have two problems in this country, our leader. Mm. Uh -huh. So if leader can be able to change the attitude, their lost attitude towards us, because they came from, lead, 
from servant to become Lord. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that is then derived that is from that uh, uh, first leader, will be Lord Lugard, mm. will be Lord over us. Maybe that that is where they derive is that. So if we can change that, Nigeria will be better. True. So my own, uh, this thing, my own uh, the contribution is this. Now, what is the Ministry of Orientation doing? Mm. This is military. If, if I ask you now, maybe you don't even know the Minister of uh, Orientation. Maybe you don't even know it. What is what is their work? How mm. are they orientating uh, people concerning the history, concerning where we are now, what we need to do? They're just purposely a secret because they want to use it as an advantage mm. to win election or from others. Mm. So when those ministers, that ministry have much work to do in Nigeria, to tell people because who don't know about Nigeria, to tell us how to do, who to vote, how to know our rights, and how to ask for our rights. Mm. Thank you. Ogada, oh, God bless you for this very important contribution. You don't call out the NOA. May they do everything whenever you do to use move this country forward. We get call out from Lagos. You don't they wait patiently. Welcome to Asside Hall. Thank you very much. Uh, good, after, uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we greet brother. you. You know, the problem of, of this country is that uh, many of us, we are so passionate about these nations. Mm. Just like what you said, that what can we do mm. for this country? My brother, Nigeria have overdue. Mm. Look, at the only thing that, that Nigeria is not doing right now is the road. And many companies, industry, they want to do the road. Local government, state government, they will not allow them to do it. Mm. Now, we are the one who pay school fees. Mm. We are the one who even um, um, build our own, our own house. We are the one who is fixing electricity. We are the one who is digging gutter. We are the one who is making borehole. Even go to every company and industry, we, they are the ones who are putting their own security. We, what, we, what is it that government is doing? Show me one. Mm. Even in your station, it is adverts that make you people to pay, to pay salary for the, for, 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 for the workers in, in, the, in the place. Mm. Many private companies cannot pay salary because of the policy government are put in place. Say, so how do you want individual to put to, to, to help his country yeah. when you cannot even pay the salary of workers. When government, when you don't have a, 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 a good environment to do business, yeah. open a business today, local government will come, police will come, yeah. custom will come, and uh, different policies, they would like to destroy your business. Yeah. So show me how can you now support your country yeah. whereby everything you are doing the you don't be like, say, destroying me. Oh, God, David, you don't make plenty sense with this, your important contribution. You don't talk and say, Nigerians, they do a lot. They make a lot of sacrifice. Our leaders, them, make us see our sweat. Do what you have to do to use the ensure, say, this land, a really land of milk and honey. Prince, they call us from Lagos here. Good morning and welcome to Asside Hot. Uh -huh. Chico, the good morning. Greet, I greet you, God, Prince. You see, with what I heard from the last caller now, eh? uh -huh. after those things, he said, look at the, my old view of it, the killing in Nigeria is too much. Mm. The lies regarding the government, what the government are doing, they are too much. Mm. Nigeria, the, the, the blood, the God, the God is not happy with Nigeria. I won't hide it for you. There's nothing Mark can do. Mm. Because we have offended God. The blood of innocent ones, they are calling for vengeance. The killing, the government killing is too much. I'm 50 something years old as I'm talking to you. I'm almost the same age with Nigeria. Mm. I'm just telling you the whole truth. Mm. It lies, everything, too much. Mm. Eh? Look mm. at, you call a Python dance. I'm from Edo State, original Edo man. Mm. You carry a soldier, as you said, you call, you gave them Python as their name. Python used to kill and swallow. Mm. Eh? Then now you 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 kill and swallow them. You are done. You are, you are telling me the pattern is dancing. Mm. The killing is too much. Mm. God is not happy with Nigeria. Please, mm. please. Oga okay, Prince, thank you very much for this your important contribution. The way where you don't talk and you don't talk and say we need to see the human side of our government so that we're going to say now nah, indeed our interests now nah, that they work for. Oga okay, Polikap from Enugu. Good morning and welcome to our city hall. Good morning, Chukwode. I greet Oga okay, Polikap. Well, I just told you, what is the topic? Okay, Oga Polycap, we they talk, say, today, when we they celebrate our great country, Nigeria, 57 years, we they ask, say, what do we as Nigerians, we do for this, our country? Okay. We have a lot to do. Hmm. 
First of all, government has to make the environment to be conducive for us to help the government. True. Because we defy the fiscal bill with nothing to show in terms of electricity. Still, where they do much more work, they spend a lot on fuel and all that things. If they, if, if they, like, I just talked about before, let them, if they can, if they can, not deliver. Let them contact the Chinese. Let them give us solar power. With that, we'll be contented. And we can be able to support the government at paying the taxes. But the government is collecting all the necessary taxes, which they're supposed to collect from every place. Mm. So we have a lot of money in their pocket. Mm. And then, let us continue to look towards uh, and the preservation of the actual sources of power. Because uh, as the foreigners are now going to solar and the, uh, and the different electric vehicles, mm. so these are so called tires, which are very proud of now. We do have little or no use for them. But we will not buy it again, so it will become obsolete. Mm. So we have a lot to do. Very uh, true. I, think, uh, I thank God for the celebration because at least the atmosphere is peaceful. Very, very I'm true. Waiting for us, another part of the very true. Okay, Polycap, we appreciate this, your important contribution. You don't talk and say, we get a lot, but the government must make the environment one way. We say, we go fit, help them. Help, now the key word. Then we'll come back to Lagos, collect this call. Thank you for your patience. Welcome to Ask yeah. in the Heart. Yes, yeah. you I hear you. I bet raise your voice. We they hear you talk. NJ. NJ. It be like said the network somehow somehow no green angel contribute. Angel, I beg if you get chance, just call us back. Make you talk your mind as it concerns this particular matter. Make I hammer on waiting. Ogapoli cap don't talk. Ogapoli cap come out talk say true true. We get a lot when we feel do, but then the environment must be conducive. That is, it must be enabling so that we go feel contribute to help this government achieve all the best when we say they want to achieve. What in the government they do? The body be like say they too much on Nigerians. See what in our own get called a talk when he list out. He talk about the fact say now you go buy fuel put inside your gen. You go pay people as security. You go pay people to clean your environment. Una go dig gutter. Una go contribute when transform a blow. Pay school fees. Feed family. Build your own house. All these kind of things. Nigeria don't talk country when we say when you build house finish. Now church you will go do testimony. How soon? Now essential necessity for human beings. Maybe we collect this call. Good morning and welcome to our city hearts. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. We hear you fire down. Okay, I'm Mr. Imo. I they hear you, Oga Imo. Continue. Uh, uh, yes, I'm calling from Lagos. You are welcome, Oga Imo. Yeah, um, Nigeria is a state country. Hmm. We have seen a lot of government that comes in, and at the time, they will also left and leave the problem that their princess will leave. Hmm. Buhari came in and he told us that he's going to fix the country. He started promising that he's going to fix life, and there is no light. He's promising that he's going to make transportation easier for the people. There's no way you can find transportation going on. He promised to provide houses. There's no way you can see houses. And if all these things are not provided, what do you expect women being to do? Is not to is not women being start finding their way out? So that they find it out peacefully or they find it out violently. Mm. So the government should look into this issue and know how to do whatever that would please the citizen. Mm. Okay, so that's my own contribution. Okay, Imo, we appreciate this your important contribution. Uh, but I've been won't give you assignments because as you mentioned all these things. We know say that problems when they're with us and we they talk about these problems them. But as we talk about us in the house, now solutions to them, now we they find. Today, especially, we can't look and say, okay, you'll be a great person because you'll be part of a great nation. Look the way when God don't bless Nigeria. He got one bad news when it happened for inside uh, the United States of America, hurricane. As hurricane, how may they finish? Hurricane, I'm at the enter. That is this one, a natural disaster when God just come. Ravage full communities. He get islands. Islands for the United States of America, where we say they need to carry everybody come out because this hurricane come destroy everywhere. All these things we know they see and for inside this our own country. God don't bless us, position us for a place where we say we sit down on top of abundant mineral and natural resources. Now the things we go do to use use this thing well. Now we suppose they think about. And as we get great people, when we say anywhere when they find themselves, you go hear of Ibo man when they Cameroon, Yoruba man when they Germany. 
How some are when they South Africa, different parts of this world, when will they do well? Why will not feel replicate this particular thing inside this our great country, Nigeria? But will they take phone calls? People they talk their mind as if they concern these issues when we say will they discuss. And we appreciate all those when call and when talk on top of this special celebration. We call them and the independence anniversary celebration of our great country, Nigeria. We can't draw here. One ourselves say we no one complain. Now what thing we feel do to use develop this our country? But I go draw my right ear now and give those way there for position of leadership. Make we remember say we no day there for decoration. We no day there to advance the interests of the Nigerian people. Do everything we want to do to use ensure say Nigerians belly sweet. Until we come back again tomorrow, we talk another discussion when they come up plenty smoke.